when you need it, Mike. <laughs> and a podium. Well, the podium's right there. We're just <laughs> short on glow sticks. Spoon behind him. You don't mess with the Gokhan. Gokhan Saki, the Turkish leg slinger, 26 years old, 5'11 and a half, 210 pounds is the official weight. But I'm telling you, I have never seen Saki look this lean. An amazing career record, 70 and 13 and one no contest, 51 knockouts. And they are giving it up for the leg slinger. A Muay Thai stylist who won his first Muay Thai world title in 2003. In 2008, he won the WCFA Muay Thai Super Heavyweight title with a leg kick knock out of Englishman Chris Knowles in Shadham, which is where Saki was born. Comes in tonight on a fantastic four-fight winning streak, including a WCFA World Title defense over Putley Mediana by first round knockout in February. A decision win over Singh Jay Deep in Yokohama in April. And a second round over Melbourne Manoff in Amsterdam in May. He won the 2008 K1 USA Championship in Hawaii in just 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Terry through George Pahu, Rick Cheek and Randy Kim. That was actually during the best time of his career when he went on a 16-fight winning streak between 2006 and 2008, including wins over Ray Sefowen, Ruslan Karaya, Murad Buzidi, Paul Sawinski and Margaret Ahmed Magomedov. Great to see Gokhan Saki once again in the final 16. Have a look at Gokhan Saki here. I have never seen him in this condition, Mike. As I said earlier, he looks like a light heavyweight. He could even pass as a middleweight. Yeah, he does. And actually, this is a pretty interesting fight because neither one of them are really true, true heavyweights in the sense of a heavyweight. And they have very similar styles. A lot of them, both of them prefer leg kicks. Um, so I think this would be a pretty, pretty interesting fight. Well matched up. Final instructions from the center referee. We are set for three by three. Two extra rounds in case of a draw between Gokhan Saki and Freddie Kamea. 
Saki is so intense. Always has that true Turkish fighting spirit. Turkey have produced so many great kickboxing champions, of course. Taekwondo is very strong in Turkey. And Gokan Saki looking for yet another appearance in the K1 World Grand Prix. He will rely on his leg kicks here, Gokan Saki. Freddy Kamayo, we call him Flashy Freddy for a very good reason. If he winds up those spinning kicks, you'll see something special. Four punch combination, exclamation mark at the end Whoa. by Saki. Bam! Whoa, did you see that? That was a, that was a beautiful four punch combination. It included a liver kick and a devastating leg kick to finish it off. It is the elite level of striking that is K1. You will not see it in any other combat sport. Gokan Saki did that to uh, Jay Hart. Um, Sing Hot JD, if you remember, and that fight was just a beauty to watch. Kokan Saki, always more combinations than a Sotoku puzzle, and he's already put it together well here in the first round. Catches a round kick on the forearm. Nice kick to the back leg from Saki. Counter left hand as Kamayo gets his lead leg swept out. It was high up on the femoral profunda. Saki's leg kicks are just lightning fast. I mean, it is ridiculous how fast they are. Left hook from Saki. Oh, the right hand takes it. Oh, he's wobbly. He's oh, he's wobbly. Can Saki This is it. This is it. This is it. As it gets an eight count. Freddy Camayo ready to take a trip down the boulevard of broken dreams. Freddy Camayo had no idea where he was at. He thought it was in Tour de France. I mean, this guy. Watch. He's wobbly. He's gone. Faster Saki kill. Saki can finish this fight right now, and he will. Watch, watch, watch. He's gone. He's done. He's done. Coming up next. 
Yes, Kaikan Saki's best friend Zimmerman takes on Daniel Guitar.